Hey, what's up you guys? In today's video, we are going to be talking about the lead form. And more specifically, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to connect the lead form to Zapier so that you can do things like get notifications or take that data to something like, like maybe a, a Google Sheet or your CRM. You know, one thing that a lot of people talk about is the landing page versus the lead form. And to be completely honest with you, it is really not necessary. And of, of course, I'm talking to the real estate agent here. Um, it's just not necessary to have to use or have to learn how to create landing pages in order to generate a real estate lead. It just is not necessary. The lead form is sufficient enough to generate real estate leads for your business. And I mean, unless you're doing something completely complicated where you're taking them through an entire sequence or an entire funnel um, it's just it, it really isn't necessary something like a quiz funnel to be completely honest even that is you use a lead form and you attach that to a messenger bot and you're able to qualify that lead just as effectively so let's get to it I'm gonna show you guys how to connect the lead form to Zapier so that you can start getting those notifications and transferring that data out of Facebook to something else maybe a notification or a CRM. All right, guys, so let's get to it. Hey, what's up, you guys? So before we get started, I briefly want to cover the pricing. If you're not familiar with Zapier just yet, um, the starter plan for the most part, for most of you guys, you're going to be running campaigns for yourself. Um, if you're a single agent, you're going to be doing this for yourself. You're not going to be running campaigns for other people. So for the most part, you are going to be OK with just uh, uh, the starter plan. All right. Unfortunately, you cannot do the free plan because um, in this case for Facebook lead ad, you do need the paid premium version. All right. And, and unless you're going to start to run campaigns for other people, maybe other other team members um, or other members in your brokerage, then um, then you might want to consider uh, upgrading to the higher uh, plans. But for the most part, you're going to be fine off the twenty five dollar month to month plan. Or if you pay it annually, it comes down to twenty twenty dollars a month. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna jump over to Zapier. And the very first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is make a zap, all right? So once you're inside here, you're gonna hit make a zap and then you're gonna see this dashboard here. So the way I like to explain how to set up these Zapier um, integrations is the very first question that you're always going to want to ask yourself is where am I taking my data from? All right, that is always going to be your very first step is where am I taking the data from? And then we can move on to where do I want to take that data to? All right, so where are we taking our data from? We're taking our data from Facebook lead ads. Okay, that's where it's coming from. And now um, here, once you get into this section, this right here is just connecting your personal Facebook account. All right. Don't confuse this with, um, you know, your business page name or your community page name. This is your Facebook personal account. So if you scroll down to the bottom, as you can see here, I've accidentally done this several times where I've connected my account several times there. If you hit connect account, it's going to automatically connect your Facebook account. All right. It may walk you through some steps if you haven't done it, um, but that's it's pretty simple to connect it. Right. So any opportunity that you have to test um, a, a connection, please make sure you test that and you see this green success button. All right. So now let's move forward. We're going to hit save and continue. And now it's going to ask us to connect our page. So now your business page falls under your personal account. So it should pull up any business page or community pages that you have built under your personal account. So I am going to find my business page and we are going to connect mine. All right. So here it is. And I have created a lead form already. So make sure that before you set this up, you have your lead form already already built out and already created. That way it pulls it up. Otherwise, it won't pull it up right here. OK, so here's my test lead form that I created for test purposes. And now we are going to hit continue. And we're going to pull in our samples. OK, so if a lead hasn't gone through, you know, for the most part, it hasn't already because you haven't ran this ad yet. It's just going to pull up dummy data in order for you to test the connection. OK, so we're going to hit continue and now we're finished with that very first step. So now the next question is, where do I where do we want to take our data to? OK, um, 
like I mentioned earlier, this is going to be a three step integration where, where it's going to be uh, Facebook lead ad to Google Sheet to your Gmail or your email notification. All right. And if you want to set it up for your CRM, then you can do that also. And that's optional. Um, but this is for this one, it's going to be Facebook lead ad to Google Sheets and then to an e email notification. All right. Um, as we set up the Google Sheet, then I, I, you know, now I'll, I'll explain. I'm going to explain why this is extremely, extremely important and why you want to have the Google Sheet integration uh, built into your Zaps. Always, it's, it, I always integrate the Google Sheet into um, any lead integration or any you know lead generating type of campaign. Why? Because you want to have that redundancy and that backup um, file of all of your leads. I can't tell you how many times the integration from Zapier to your CRM um, fa has failed in the past. The agent doesn't get the, the notification and now that lead is lost or by the time that the agent finds out that, you know, he didn't get notified about this lead, it's way too late and now that lead is completely garbage, right? So um, you want to have this, this um, redundancy here as a backup file. It's very simple to set up so it does not hurt and it doesn't really take that much time to set this up. The very first step that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a spreadsheet row. All right. Before we move forward here now, um, if you've never created a Google sheet, it's very simple. You go to Google, um, you know, you have you have your you should have a Gmail account. If you don't, then I highly recommend you have a Gmail account. You go to your apps, you find Google sheet and you find the Google Sheet app and you build out a, a new spreadsheet. OK, so this is what's called a spreadsheet. Um, I like um, I call this one test sheet PR. In your case, you're going to probably want to name this, um, you know, just leads. And then down here we have our worksheets. All right. So we have worksheets that fall under the spreadsheet. So you can have several um, worksheets under one spreadsheet. All right. And the way I like to recommend that you name these worksheets down here, um, I'm, I'm really I'm a re really big fanatic on labeling just to make things easier um, and more efficient. All right. So the way you want to label these down here are by the names of your community. OK, so wherever you're running ads in, let's just say, for example, I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm running ads in Scottsdale. So I'm going to call this one Scottsdale leads. All right. I'm running another campaign over here as well. You know, I have two campaigns going as, at once and I'm also running ads in, in Gilbert. All right. So I'm going to name this Gilbert leads. All right. So now all of my Scottsdale leads are going to fall under here and all of my Gilbert leads are going to fall under here. All right. So that's going to make it extremely, extremely helpful for you guys once you guys start building these out. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these really quick. All right. So now what we want to do is build out our headers. OK, so basically what our headers are and I'm just going to build them out as I go. We're going to be extracting. This is the information that we're going to want to be extracting from um, the Facebook lead ad. Right. So we want we're going to be taking names. We're going to be taking emails. We're going to be taking phone numbers. We're going to be taking the date that the lead came in at and then also our user ID, which I will explain in just a second. Um, basically what, what this is now, all of our names, um, you know, every lead that comes in, all of our names are going to fall under the name column. All of our emails are going to fall under the email column, all of our phone numbers under the phone number column and et cetera, et cetera. Right. Um, why you want to have the user ID in here is extremely, extremely important. And really this is, this is the real gold of what you guys are doing, um, with Facebook, with Facebook advertising. Okay. You're collecting data, right? The user ID is the ID that Facebook gives the individual yourself or anybody else that has a Facebook account. That's the ID that you are given when you sign up for Facebook. This number does not change at all and it stays with you forever as long as you have a Facebook account, which in, I don't believe you can delete your Facebook account. <laughs> so it stays with you forever, right? What you can do now is take that user ID and you can retarget all of these all of these leads and have a more specific message down the road if you want to retarget them with something else. Right. You can take these user IDs, upload them directly into Facebook. And now you have a custom audience of all these leads that you have 
let's say for example you get wrong a wrong email or a phone number well you can still get back in front of them on the facebook feed on the facebook feed by retargeting them with the user id because the user id is not something that they can change or manipulate all right it's extremely important guys that's that's what you're investing in when you're when you're running facebook ads you're investing in data and this right here is one of the most important pieces of data that you are collecting all right so one last step that you're going to want to do uh, before we move forward is you're going to want to format this column um, to zero okay so we're going to hit format we're going to hit number and then we're going to find the zero okay so it might i think because i've already done it it's already right there but you might have to go under more formats and then find um more currencies or custom number format but find the zero okay and it should look like this because what will happen is if you don't format it uh, sometimes the Google sheet will turn it into a scientific number and you won't be able to take that number and upload that into Facebook. All right. So it won't work. Um, so make sure you format it. Now we should be ready to head back to Zapier to continue finishing this out. All right. So you're going to here. It's going to ask you to select the account, the Google account that you have the Google sheet set up in. And now, um, next step is going to find the spreadsheet. So what did we name the spreadsheet test sheet PR? So that should pop up here, right here. And now our worksheet is going to be Scottsdale leads. There it is right there. So as you can see, it also pulled up the Gilbert leads. We're going to hit Scottsdale leads. And now we have all of our headers. Okay. So again, if you don't have those headers set up before you, you get to this step, um, none of these will, will show up right here. All right. So from this point, it's now plug and play action. All right. So if you scroll all the way um, over to the right, this is where our data is found. Okay. So if we pull this up, we're going to pull this from Facebook. All right. Because that is the trigger and that is where the data is coming from. So we're going to input the full name, same thing. We're going to find email and we're going to input the email there. We're going to scroll over and now we're going to take the phone number. And now, um, we're going to continue moving forward to find the date that this lead came in at, which is this here. And now we're going to take the user ID, which is this one right here. Okay. There are other ID numbers. Don't use the ad ID. Don't use campaign ID, form ID, none of that. Okay. It's this one right here. All right. So that's the user ID. <coughs> now we're going to continue. And again, anytime that you have the opportunity to test, make sure that you do so. So we're going to send a test to the Google sheet and then we're going to head back to our Google sheet and there it is. Okay. So again, this is just pulling dummy data and it's all right there. So we know that the connection is working properly. So now we're going to move on to our next step, which is going to be our email notification. Okay. So now, um, again, I highly recommend that you have a Google account. We're going to, we're going to be using Gmail to send, um, to send the email notification. All right. So if you go here and you type in Google, then you should be able to find, oh, I think it was, it was already right there. So there it is. So it's Gmail. So if you type in Gmail, then you should find the Gmail there, the Gmail option right there. So now, um, we're going to send an email. Okay. So this is going to be the very first step. We're going to save and continue. And now make sure that you select the Google account that you have, um, Oops, it's this one here, the Google account that you want to send the email from. All right. So we are going to hit that. We're going to do, um, I'm going to send this to my throwaway email, but this is where you would want to input the email that you want to receive the notification to. All right. So whichever email that you want to uh, be notified from, that's going to be it right there. So make sure you input that there. If you want to CC anybody about the lead, you can, you have that option right there as well. Now, where are we sending the notification from? This is going to be the email account that you set up. All right. So, or where you're going to be receiving the email from. And for the most part, it's just going to be one option right there. Okay. Now from name, I like to just call this leads. Um, as, when you get the notification, you're going to see leads and you're more likely to, you know, respond to it or, um, you know, open it up when you see that name right there. All right. So, um, now the subject, I like to call this new lead 
and this is exactly how I set up these notifications. Okay, so I'm, I'm literally walking you guys through the exact process that I use to, to set this up, right? So um, you can feel free to set it up, you know, however you feel is best, but this is what I am. I always do. And this is my process that I've, that I've been doing for a while. So again, you can feel free to change anything up. Um, the subject that I like to do is new lead. And then I like to name this the whatever community that I'm running the lead in, uh, the lead, the campaign in. Okay, so I'm running this one in Scottsdale. So I'm just going to say Scottsdale lead. And now in the body section, um, again, this is exactly how I like to set it up. You can set this up however you feel fit or works best for you. Okay, so you have a new lead. In the Scottsdale area. This is um, optional here. I like to make it easy to access the Google Sheet um, if I if I wanted to, if I needed to. So I like to have a copy of the link there. And what I'll do is I'll take this link. All right. So make sure you copy that. Um, and I'll turn this into a Bitly link. All right, so we'll go over to Billy. If you've never used Billy, if you're not familiar with Billy, all it is is just a, sh a link shortener. Okay, so um, very simple to use. I do have another video that shows you how to use this process here, but it's very simple. Um, you're gonna take that link. So you can see here, this is the Google Sheet. Uh, this is the Google Sheet link right here. And now I just turned it into a, a Bitly link, which is much shorter. I'm going to take that. And now we can say you have uh, you can access a copy of your leads here. And so I'll drop that link right there again, just to make it easier if I wanted to access the Google sheet. All right. So now we'll input the lead details and we'll do name, email, phone number and that is it. Okay. So we'll do that there, that there. Okay. So same thing again. Now it's just going to be a little bit of just plug and play action where we're going to input the name there. So we're going to take our, where our data is stored up here in this top right hand corner box. We will open that up and um, we are going to select the trigger. Okay. So make sure that you take it take the data from where it's originally coming from, right? So and that's the Facebook lead ad. So full name, and now we're gonna drop in our email, and now we're gonna drop in our phone number, all right? And that is it. So now we are going to continue, and we're gonna send a test to my Gmail, and I did just receive that on my phone. Perfect, all right, so, Last thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to label this. Okay. I am a big fanatic of labeling because it just makes it easier. Once you start to build these out and you have several zaps, it makes it easier for you to um, recognize it right off the bat. So I'm just going to call this Scottsdale leads. And the very last thing that you're going to want to do is turn this on. All right. So there it is. You guys, like I said, it's really not that complicated. Once you get in there and you start playing with it yourself, it's really going to feel like plug and play action. Um, remember to always ask yourself, where am I taking my data from? And now where do I want to take my data to? As long as you stick to that concept, you should have no issues setting up your zaps from scratch, uh, from the beginning to the end. So there it is. Hopefully you found it helpful. Get out there, generate those leads, and I'll catch you guys next time.